Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dennis Duke and of course we are breaking down the most notorious places or the most dangerous spots in Kampala. Now we all know that Kampala is one of the best towns in Africa and of course the best cities in Africa that is secure, safe and of course has peace or is calm as opposed to uh, different cities in Africa and perhaps in the world. But there are these particular spots where you are not guaranteed of your safety despite the fact that we have police and of course uh, security uh, spots in these same spots where I'm of course going to mention some of them. Why not? Let's start or drove straight into uh, this, these particular dangerous spots in Kampala. But before we do that, I hope you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you've not, just do that and we get going. Thank you so much for those who have subscribed, those who continue to comment, like, and share my content. You're the real MVPs. Now, let me share the most dangerous Kampala spots you have or you may probably not know. Now, some of these places for you who've been, of course, robbed before or who've been victims to these particular places or places where theft is rampant will bear me witness. One of the most dangerous spots, I'll start with Katwe. Katwe, for over a decade now, has been known as one of the most dangerous sport in Kampala where young boys they are not even old they are really really young young as 23 24 25 26 27 around that uh, that age they're the ones abatigomie chivuga now when you go around Katwe and you have your phone probably you're seated in a car and your window is open maybe you're trying to you know uh, try to send a message or talk to somebody trust me in just a second you won't have that phone uh, now when i talk of katwe i mean around uh that clock tower around uh queen's queen's clock tower as you're going uh, this road is going to to entebbe this one goes to mark chindye now this one goes to Ndeva, and this one is coming to town that spot uh, uh, when you come around uh, Queensway, okay, au kusawa ya kui na au, chino chiva ku shop right, chino chiva ku energy center, chino chiva ku uh, Entebbe Road, then chino chida wali in Zambia. Mama nyavu le nyanya. Omu biali au. Omu biali au. Oh! Okumanyo omu biali au. Uh, wali wo police station eli au just within Na ye bakula ganti, na uwenjini bakula chi, babida u. Actually, I have witnessed this myself. I was one time going to Munyonyo, so I chose to board a taxi. Nchali muntu wa wansi, olumu nange ninya ku taxi nino. Ida chuhula amba gamba msubscribe, nge mulawe nyo nange mfune kusente, ngule kamoto kane ya gari. So this, these guys, of course, nalinzi gadewe ndavidu wa mtu. And uh, I was still talking to some of you, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so, going and you could see moon texting. And I actually went to Chanyamba and I didn't see this guy. Oh, she in David Wamu. So, when this guy, when Sigala could see moon and chatting, a guy yadja. The good thing, I didn't wait to get there. We didn't come and Chanyamba. We are being moved to get there. Cutting and this guy in David Wamu. Cutting. Guy yasike in David Wamu. Katatu wale simu. Wakwanti na jinyueza na ngamba gendo olie nkoku. Can you imagine? Ntebako mamu koma kuba na ye baina aga aga gambo gebo gira. Waliyo mchala gwe baba ke simu. Gai nada emabali na gamba jango jichime. Baba wana wana. And I'm like, wait a minute. So a thief can actually steal your thing and just go across the road and boast. Wow. Only that is found in Uganda. So if you are moving within Kampala, make it a point to always be safe. Now, that is around Katwe. Away from Katwe, I bring you, I'm still in town. Let me, let me first handle town. One ku ku mini price. Oh my God. 
omubi ali kumini price. Ho! Oh! Bovati wana kubanga ko. You may never know. But actually, I'm saying this because I have done my research. I have been to these places and I have seen these guys rob. Now, ngatuvu dewao, mukwano mall. Mukwano mall, obet mukwana ke, divimbu zabuza. Eneringa wa chiseka. Uh, now, on that spot, around that area. Na uba bida unyo. Na ulo zababachi, peti peti thieves. They steal phones, they steal laptops, they steal um, handbags, they snatch from women. And it is more rampant these days that there is jam. Now, kajam wako, weka kuatida mkatini just katuna wekati. Gaya ja nagurawe e moto ka. Even when you're in a car. That's why I usually advise people that when you are moving in a car, central lock wewe ganyo kulu okinga. If it's your personal car, make it a point to first lock these doors. Because wewe da mujam, gaya ja buzi nagurawe, na pikinga, cha pikinga, na furuma. And you won't chase them. One, because WCB probably built, by the time you leave your, your car seat, of furume wewe da gobe omu, tunga ya genze da. Odimu jam, people won't wait for you to maybe uh, move your car aside and then you start chasing a thief so before you actually hit the road maybe you've parked at serena before you actually hit the road and you know that you're actually going to patch within these particular places make it a point to first lock your doors okay so uh, that spot is very dangerous as well our uh, around mukwano mall over mukwana kid one watch seka okay i'm going to do uh kuchi Kulugogo bypass. My goodness. Actually, katibo na balinga vava yunaje vava newe yiwa o kulugogo bypass. Usually, these guys, uh, they target places like lights because wama nyi lights emoto kazi imirira. Bata gechi nge bifuwebili mu jam. Wama nyi nti waliwo concentration. Actually, na ukawala uh, na nkulabie up to uh, to to kawala au nga chino chambuka kumase kumasero then wali wachino echikiri da nga e, 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 mu muwa mchikoni Sorry, but then you get any mama or van. <laughs> anyway, let's let's continue with our uh, most notorious places in Kampala. Now, I was still telling you that these thieves or these thugs have shifted. They are now around uh, Lugogo Bypass. Lugogo Bypass, Tewali inga o lights. Na ika tibate kawochi lights. So, baba nyi, but, baba nyi nti. E moto kazi imili dao, atina uwa veda unyo jam. Because waliwe zide na ati waliwe zide dao. So, uwa veda unyo commotion. Kati mu commotion eyo, boba funao, actual awe rugogo. Banzi veda we simu. Yes, the whole place of rugogo is not secure. So, just in case you are moving in town, make it a point to be a little safer. Or move while you are vigilant or on the lookout because thugs are around that particular place now another place that i don't wish to forget is olava industrial area okay industrial area now between uh this muzigiti there's a muzigiti on port bell road and then there's another place where they make uh uh, Baba Jirawe Mbao, they do furniture work and all that. Then Wali sides Wali Wevi Muri. I hope you get my point. Boita Uwa Unyanyo Kazambi Uwa Wente. I think, yes, Animal West. Awo, Baba Jirawe Nente Bibichibichibichi. Now, that's found in industrial area. Awo, Bagula Uwa Nemoto Kange Tambula. If you've never known. That place is actually one of the most dangerous places you can ever imagine passing in the night. So, even in actually, but take it out late, late, because I'm going to go to the So, if you want to, uh, if you're maybe coming from an outing or you're from an event late in the night, try not to use that 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 road. It, it connects to Bugolobi. At least use the Nakawa one. It's a little bit safer. Because wali wa maje, wali wa bichi, wali wa abana, so into activities there. But this place, there's no activity. It's dark, first of all, and 
kwe gamba awa abantu babira onyo ne moto kangazita ambula abantu bagula one be yiwam ne bakutole ebintu so make it a point to always be on the lookout once you're using that particular road now another place around banda chireka banda au mu junction manyi chireka banda we want to our tiro kwata jam over monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday or saturday wabera onyo jam so abana bakolera au enyo 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 ate watira bera au activities ko za abantu bagenda nambole mostly bunga wali wo mpira so we bitu we bitu batera nyo kubirawo abantu now wali wo muzo mulalo gwa kutte uh, akati northern bypass ho era nsaba nyo gulemetu kawa uh, gulemetu ka ku entebe expressway now ku northern bypass literally around um, around uh, this place naria that round about ye naria chino chida uh, Chari wa jare vye biche 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 Around that spot Watida kuwa tao jam in the evening or in the night So guys have also mastered that place Babida onyo Why did I decide to share this? I know most of my Ugandan colleagues May not tell you Mostly for those that are coming to Kampala For their very first time But this is some good and quite insightful information. I know I should be talking about the good things of Kampala. I definitely will be talking about that. And if you've not checked out my uh, recent video about 10 things about Uganda or why you should come to Uganda, then you better do that and I'll leave a description or I'll leave a link in the description so you can easily follow up with that particular video. But like I said, I am one of those Ugandan vloggers that is dedicated to bringing Uganda closer to you but I should also warn you uh, uh, when it comes to certain security measures in the country I would love you to come to my uh, my country and and have the best experience you've ever had elsewhere I want you to come here and have fun but you cannot have fun when you've actually lost a camera when you've actually lost a phone when you've actually lost a laptop or you've been severely beaten because these guys do not only stop at snatching your phone or snatching your laptop they go ahead and beat you some people have lost cars some people have lost monies big sums of monies and so these are some of the things i would love to caution you about but what what scares me is that even when you get hold of these guys and take them to police the following morning <laughs> they are set free you can't find them so they are conniving with the police i do not mean to say that our police is that weird or corrupt no there are some specific police stations where you take a guy and before you know it the guy is out there having fun why because they collaborate with the police after stealing and selling they share the revenue this one is on record i have heard and seen many of these guys testify that they were dealing with the policemen uh, before they were actually uh, you know uh, arrested by serious policemen so much as we rely on on the police for security it is very 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 uh, important and incumbent upon us to always take much responsibility of what we hold in our hands what we carry in our cars and perhaps what we intend to do in the city kampala my name is dennis do continue subscribing liking sharing i remain yours truly i'll always be here 